What's up, everybody? Welcome back to All Wings Everything, and I am your cook, Spinelli. Now, in today's video, what we're going to do, we're going to do oven-baked lemon pepper wings. Now, I'm warning, these are going to be the best lemon pepper wings you've ever tasted. I promise you. Now, I used to cook lemon pepper wings. Uh, I used to fry them and cook them all type of ways. But this method here is the only way that I make lemon pepper wings now. I won't even eat lemon pepper wings or make them any other way because they're not gonna taste as good as this, I'm telling you. So if you guys wanna know what I do and how I do it, get in the kitchen, get your apron, grab your things, and let's get to cooking. And I'll meet you there, let's go. All right, so here are all the ingredients we're going to use for this recipe. We have our uh, Publix uh, Green Wise chicken wings. We're going to use some butter, a little vegetable oil, lemon pepper. We're going to use some fresh lemons. So these are the only ingredients we're going to need for this recipe. Uh, not many today again, so let's move on. All right, so I've already uh, measured out my ingredients. I've cleaned and rinsed my chicken. So right here, what I have, I have a fourth of a cup of vegetable oil. I have three tablespoons of lemon pepper and I have juice of two lemons. So I'm only using two of the lemons at the moment. I'm saving the third lemon for later on in the recipe. And also I have four tablespoons of butter. All right, so that is what we're going to use to get started. So let's move on. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare the marinade for the chicken. So what we're going to use, we're going to take um, one teaspoon of lemon pepper. And we're going to sprinkle it into our lemon juice. Once we do that, we're going to stir the lemon pepper to combine it with the lemon juice. Next, we're gonna take another teaspoon of that lemon pepper and we're going to sprinkle it over our chicken. After you sprinkle it, mix it. Then we're gonna take another teaspoon and sprinkle it over the chicken. Give it a good mix. Now we're going to take that lemon juice and we're going to pour the lemon juice evenly over the chicken and take a spoon and make sure that you press down to get all the chicken submerged into the lemon juice. Now, if you have more chicken than I'm using, then you're going to have to use additional lemons because you won't. Um, your, all your chicken to be submerged into the uh, lemon juice. And after that, take your top, cover the chicken, and we're going to marinate it overnight. All right, so now that you've um, allowed the chicken to marinate overnight, take a look at it. What you're going to do next is take a cutting board and remove the chicken from the bowl onto a cutting board. Make sure you um, shake off the excess liquids from the chicken. And once we remove all the chicken, what we're going to do is we're going to take a paper towel and pat the chicken dry real lightly. All right. So after you patted your chicken dry, the next thing you want to do is you want to um, you want to take your chicken and add those pieces back into a bowl. Now, once you've added them all back into the bowl, I want you to take that one fourth cup of vegetable oil and pour it over the chicken. Give it a good mix. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna take your pan don't forget to line your pan. Take some cooking spray 
and spray your pan. Once you've done that, let's move on to the next step. All right, so now you're ready to place your chicken onto your pan. So take the chicken and add them to your pan again. Skin side down is the way I add mine. About a half an inch to an inch apart. Try not to overcrowd it. You want to give your chicken room to cook. So go ahead and add all the pieces of chicken to your pan. And once you do that, we'll move on to the next step. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you, just, you want to take um, a pinch of the lemon pepper and sprinkle it over the top of the chicken before you place it in the oven. Now, this is going to help bring out that lemon flavor even more. Just by uh, marinating in that lemon juice, it's going to definitely have a lemon flavor to it. But once you um, add this lemon pepper seasoning over the top, along with the lemon juice that it marinated in, it's going to give you that extra lemon flavor that you're looking for. So once you've done that, we can move on. So all right, now we can take our wings and put them in the oven. And I've already preheated my oven to 400 degrees. And we're going to allow these wings to cook for 60 minutes. And remember, halfway through the cooking process, we're going to turn our wings over and let them cook on the other side for the remaining of the process. Remember, we love our food to be cooked evenly. All right. So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's take a look at them real quick. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn those wings over and allow them to finish the remaining of the cooking process on the other side. So go ahead and turn all your wings over. Now, once you've turned all your wings over, what you want to do is you want to take a pinch of the lemon pepper season again, and you want to sprinkle it over the other side of the chicken. Remember, this is going to bring that flavor out that you're looking for. These are real lemon pepper wings. These are not fried wings that you sprinkle lemon pepper seasoning over and call them lemon pepper wings. That's not what this is. Now, once you sprinkle the um, the lemon pepper season over the chicken, we're going to uh, put the wings back in the oven and allow them to finish cooking. And we'll check on them in the next 30 minutes. All right. The 60 minutes is up. It's time to remove our wings from the oven. Let's take a look at them. They are juicy. Nice color, that's what we're looking for. The seasoning on the chicken, you can see it. These look tasty. All right, so um, let's go ahead and move on to the next step and finish preparing these wonderful, delicious wings. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna remove your wings from the pan and place them in an empty bowl. I know you guys are getting hungry right now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our four tablespoons of melted butter. And I've added a teaspoon of um, lemon pepper in that butter. So we're gonna take that four tablespoons of melted butter and we're not gonna pour it over the chicken. We're just gonna do a teaspoon at a time. And once you do that, you want to take your lid, cover your chicken, and do a little shake it, shake it, bake it, bake it, shake it, shake it, mama, bake it, bake it, daddy. Remove your lid, and that's what lemon pepper wings supposed to look like. So now what you want to do is you want to take your empty plate and place these wings on the plate. Now, once you've placed all your wings on the plate, you want to take some additional lemon pepper seasoning and you want to sprinkle it over the wings. 
again, that's giving you that uh, extra lemon pepper flavor. That's the reason why you, you're asking and wanting to eat lemon pepper wings because you want to taste that lemon flavor. And this is what it looks like. Take a look at that. In the South, we say good googly moogly. All right, folks. There you have it. Juicy oven-baked lemon pepper wings. Once you've had lemon pepper wings this way, no other lemon pepper wings are going to taste right to you. I guarantee you. I do not eat my lemon pepper wings no other way but this way. Take a look at that. If you want to experience lemon pepper wings, this is the way you want to experience them. All right, it's time for me to do some quality control and grab one of these wings to make sure that it's safe for everyone to eat. All right, folks, I'm going to finish this plate of wings off, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until then, I'll see you in my next one. Peace. All right, everyone, I know you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about those lemon pepper wings. Didn't I tell you they were going to come out amazing? And they tasted great. They was bursting with flavor. And I'm going to tell you the secret. The secret is allowing them to marinate in that lemon juice overnight for at least 24 hours. And you can't go wrong. Now, I know you guys are going to try this recipe at home. And when you do, please leave a comment and let me know how your wings turned out. And if you like the video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so right now. And if you got any friends that love lemon pepper wings, because I know you do, everybody loves lemon pepper wings. I hadn't met one person that doesn't like lemon pepper wings. So share that with your friends, and I'll see you guys in our next video. All Wings Everything, your host and cook, Spinelli, and I'm out. Peace. Everybody stand up. Introducing... The one and only, the most anticipated, and highly underrated.